for physicians who want to really learn how to make a better recommendation, I actually have two suggestions when it comes to the HPV vaccine. First of all, avoid the tendency for TMI. We have so much information in our heads as physicians, and we always have to decide how much is useful and what's too much. And with the HPV vaccine, I think that the identification of the virus, the commonness of the infection itself, and the fact that it causes cancer and we can prevent that is really where you stop. We don't have to go any further and offer tremendous amount of information. We will get the opportunity to answer questions if they're asked. And that's key, if they're asked, because many times they're not. The other thing is that just like everything else that we do, we need to practice. And sometimes these words don't come naturally. It helps to think about how you're gonna say, what you're gonna say, and maybe practice in front of the mirror in the bathroom in the morning until you really have it down so that when you walk in, you're comfortable with it, your recommendation is clear, and then if there are questions, you can answer the questions.